In this presentation, we will talk about motivation and how to use theories to motivate employees in the organization. We start with motivation definition. The motivation uh, concept is about the internal and external factors that lead an individual to engage in goal-related behavior. Motivation has three main characteristics that affect the person's reaction toward an object, which are intensity, direction, and persistence. The motivation process starts with a need, mainly unsatisfied needs that creates attention and worry about satisfying it, that can lead the person to behave in a certain directed way in order to achieve the goal and realize the need satisfaction. When research tried to categorize the motivation series, this classification has been rich, starting with the need series, which include many series, some of them are Maslow's, Alderfu, MacLellan, Herzberg, and the second category uh, is the process series, which include mainly expectancy series and goal setting series. And finally, responses to reward theory, which includes uh, which include equity theory and justice theory. This is the most popular need theory, which is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, starting with physiological needs, then safety needs, social needs, STEM needs, and self-actualization needs. Then, Alderfer has reworked Maslow's hierarchy of needs and classified the needs into ERG series. E for existence, R for relatedness, and G for cross. MacLellan's series of needs classified into need for achievement, need for power, and need for affiliation. Herzberg's two-factor theory is another one. This theory says that satisfaction and dissatisfaction are not the opposite, but two separate ideas. There are a set of factors that when present will help to avoid dissatisfaction in workers. This group is called the hygiene factors, which may include such things that, uh, as salary, working conditions, and company policies. There is another set of factors that when present will help to cause satisfaction in workers. This group is called motivators and includes things that, uh, such as cross responsibility and achievement. And this figure tries to find the relationship of various needs series. Then we move to process series of motivation. We are focused here about expectancy theory and goal setting theory. Goal setting theory says that when people accept goals with certain characteristics as being smart goals and they receive feedback about their progress toward achieving these goals that help them to get more motivation and achieve more results. Smart goals are specific, measurable, assignable, realistic, and timely based. When we move to the expectancy theory, people tend to evaluate the likelihood that their effort will result in the desired outcome and whether this outcome is attractive and preferable to them. Expectancy theory talks about three main relationships. First, 
effort performance relationship second performance reward relationship and the third one rewards personal goals relationship additional category of process theories asks us to consider how individuals respond to rewards and here we will focus on equity theory and organizational justice theory when we talk about equity in the organization equity theory comes to focus on individuals perceptions of fair and equitable treatment employees evaluate their input outcome ratio with relevant others the comparison includes comparing me as an employee my effort relative to my outcomes and my ratio relative to others inside and outside the organization when we talk about organizational justice concept organizational justice refers to employees perception of fairness in the workplace these perceptions can be classified into four categories distributive justice procedural justice interactional justice and interpersonal justice in order to create motivating workplace inside the organization you have to concentrate on many factors such as rewards payments supportive leadership work life balance flexible work options job performance model and job design intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation supportive organizational policies fairness and justice when we talk about job design the most popular model of job design that is the job characteristics model has to take a place this model focuses on five characteristics which are skills vari- uh, skill variety task identity task significance autonomy feedback from the job these characteristics result in critical psychological state and preferable outcomes the final point we will focus on in this topic is the approaches of job design that relate job design by motivating employees job design approaches include job in simplification job rotation job enrichment and job enlargement Job enlargement talks about horizontal expansion of the job at the same level in the organization. Job rotation talks about systematically planned movement of workers from one job to another in order to add more experience and break the routine of the job. Job enrichment talks about increasing the depth of a job by adding responsibilities. such as planning, organizing, controlling or evaluating the job to let the worker experience a feeling of responsibility, achievement, growth and recognition. Job simplification means breaking the job into relatively easier sub parts with the intention to enhance the individual's productivity. And finally, job sharing means scheduling arrangement in which two employees perform the work of one full-time job. Good luck.